What's going on everybody? How's everybody doing today? Good, I hope. Okay, so you're probably wondering why I'm starting this off in a cemetery. Well, for today's adventure, we're going to explore the filming locations for the first time ever for the Too Fast, Too Furious turbocharged prelude. If you're unsure what the turbocharged prelude is, it's kind of an in-between point between the first Fast and the Furious and Too Fast, Too Furious. With this six minute short film, we see Brian adventure from Los Angeles all the way to Miami with a few stops in between. And we're gonna hit a few of those stops for the filming locations today. And I figure I would start this video off inside the cemetery to pay our respects to the one person who is in the entire turbocharged prelude, the main character, Mr. Paul Walker. We're gonna check out his grave site and pay our respects today. And we are going to hit the filming locations for the turbocharged prelude. So join me as we do this for the very first time. Let's check it out. I thought it was only right that I start the video off here inside the cemetery and show the final resting place of Paul Walker before we get started on the filming locations. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy to be here. So the first Fast and the Furious is one of my all time favorite movies alongside Too Fast, Too Furious. And it's just really emotional to be here. And just, I'm just trying to take it all in and it's just a lot. I did a, did a little bit of a documentary last year about Paul Walker's story and what happened on November 30th. 2013 if you guys want to go back and watch that video feel free um but i figured i would just document his gravesite into this video we can start it off right here all right no more being emotional it's hard not to be emotional here at his final resting place are you guys ready to see the very first filming locations so here i am for one of the very first locations here in Los Angeles and it's one of the first races that Brian gets into and it shows him on his way to Phoenix and he stops off for a race but in actuality he's still here in Los Angeles this is 5821 Randolph Street and this is the location of one of the very first races so Brian's on his way to Phoenix he stops here gets in a race and the starting line is somewhere right over here because there's a shot just like this where you can still see the 5821 on the side of the building now the buildings are still here they have not changed at all and you can see the top of the roof there how it goes up and then down and then up and then down those still there so you can match those up and then there used to be a building right there beside this one well apparently they tore it down and uh it's no longer there it's pretty much like a truck yard that guy that just drove off reminded me of uh, Paul's friend, Sean Lee. He kind of slowed down, rolled his window down and looked at me. But anyway, location of the first race, the shot was right about here. So they end up racing, which is probably off down that way. And of course, Brian ends up winning. And we come back here to the uh, warehouses and uh dude shakes brian's hand and gives him the cash and his girlfriend's like yeah whatever all of that was filmed right here on this street if you want to come check it out 5821 randolph street here in los angeles it was not filmed in phoenix or outside of phoenix where it was portrayed to be all right so for this next location i'm standing just off of the sierra highway here in the parking lot 
of the townhouse motel here. Now in this turbocharged prelude, it shows Brian sleeping in a motel room when he's on the road, when he's trying to get away. And you don't really get to see the inside of the hotel room other than the fact that you see his face on a pillow sleeping. However, you do get to see a red light going on and off, and that would be the light coming from the townhouse motel sign there, all lit up at night looking cool and stuff, but it is in fact the same sign. So I don't know if they ever filmed his hotel room inside of here. No one's really ever confirmed it. Could have been on a stage, unlikely. They could have just rented a room for like a couple hours, you know, made the scene. But yeah, this is one of the other stops on the turbocharged prelude. Upon further inspection of this next location, I'm currently in the parking lot of the Shadow Inn here just off Sierra Highway. And during this quick scene, Brian is watching the news in his hotel room and they did in fact film it inside of this hotel room here. Room 121 is the one he comes out of and as you can see, still says 121. Everything still adds up comes out of that door that lights on and he goes to walk around this corner here and his car is being investigated by the cops he turns around real quick and then he runs into a girl and then he takes off that way and then she comes back around and the cop shines her shines their light down this way all the while there is like Christmas lights or something wrapped around that pillar there. But yeah, this is the exact spot. So they definitely filmed it here. That's crazy. Everything still matches up aside from them changing the colors over the years. So for this next location, I'm at the Roto-Rooter Plumbers parking lot. And as you can see, there's absolutely nothing here. I'm about to tell you something that's gonna blow your mind that not a lot of people know. From an online source, this person told me that this parking lot here is the exact location where they had a mobile diner set up where Brian goes in, gets his coffee, and he's reading the newspaper. And the two cops walk in and he gets all uneasy and he takes off. This is Sierra Highway here. He takes off down this road here. So yeah, crazy that they had a little diner set up just for this. Now, don't quote me on that. I'm not entirely sure. There could have actually been something here at one point. I don't know. But this building looks pretty old. So I would assume they probably just had something set up. And there's one sure way that you know that this is the exact location because during a couple different clips you can see the tire store here and then in another clip you can see the background with all these buildings so this is definitely the right place so when brian takes off after the police investigate his car at the hotel he's walking down the street and he gets picked up by the girl in the convertible well, they want to make it look like he's been walking for quite some time. Well, during the day, they're riding in the car, and they come right through here. And ladies and gentlemen, I bring you, for the first time ever, the location where Brian got his skyline. So for the people who have never seen the too fast turbocharged prelude, this is where Brian got his skyline for Too Fast, Too Furious. This is the exact location. Everything still matches up. The fence is still blue. I mean, the signs have changed and stuff, but... So when Brian shows up and he's looking for a car, 
he's walking through here right where I'm at and there's a bunch of cars there's places surrounded with cars but actually right here where this car is parked the uh, dealer guy is trying to get him to buy something parked right there and then Brian just happens to look over and he points at where he bought his skyline now right here where this white honda is underneath the little tent is where a mangled up skyline was sitting so the guy pulls out the skyline parks it right about here and he hands the guy cash and brian takes off and that is where we get the skyline for too fast too furious brian takes it to his own shop and uh fixes it up real nice and that is the skyline that you see in too fast too furious